Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a great weekend. Hey, it's Jeff on the web. I'm Debbie, and I'm really excited to show you the clips today. Some of them almost broke my childhood, but they didn't. We're okay. It was close. <laughs> this is for entertainment purposes only. I definitely urge you to do your own research to quote one of my very favorites. The truth is out there. Let's over the lies. So I'll leave it right there. And without further ado, let's get to it. Area 51 line, you're on the air. Hello. Hello, Art. Yes. Hi. Um, I, I, I don't have a whole lot of uh, time. Um, well, look, let's begin yeah. by finding out whether you're using this line properly or not. Uh, area 51. Yeah, um, that's right. Were you an employee or are you now? Uh, I, a former employee. Former um, employee. I, I, I was let go on a medical discharge about a week ago. And... And... <laughs> I, I've kind of been running a, across the country. Um, oh man, I don't know where to start. They're they're uh, they're, they're gonna um, they'll triangulate on this position really really soon. So um, you can't spend a lot of time on the phone. So give us something quick. Okay. Um. Um. Okay. What what we're thinking of as as aliens are they're uh, they're they're extra dimensional beings that. An earlier precursor of the um, space program made contact with. Uh, they they are not what they claim to be. Uh, they have infiltrated a lot of uh, uh, a lot of aspects of, of of the military establishment, particularly the Area 51. Uh, the, the disasters that are coming. They the, the military. I'm sorry, the, the government knows about them, and th there's a lot of safe areas in this world that they could begin moving the population to now, Art. But they're not doing, they're not doing anything. They are not. They want the major population centers wiped out so that the, the few that are left will be more easily controllable. Discharge. <laughs> I, I started getting. Well, this was certainly interesting. We are now on a backup system, everybody. A backup system. And uh, you, that one caller that I had on the air, <laughs> I guess we were about in the middle of his transmission, his telephone call, which was a, one of the strangest ones I've ever had. And the entire transmitting system by satellite went down here, and we were notified we were off the air. And it would appear to be from this end and some sort of uh, massive transmit failure. So we are now using a backup system to be on the air. And not that I would normally believe this kind of thing, mind you, but I can't help but wonder if somebody, somebody zapped us in some way. Uh, we'll find out. I want to start off with this one because in case anybody doesn't know who this is, this is Art Bell. He was an author and a um, the host of a show, a, a late night, well, actually overnight radio show called Coast to Coast. Um, they specifically dealt with paranormal and conspiracy type topics. And of course, you're going to get some weird stuff in the middle of the night on a radio show. But this one was... On September 11th, 1997, um, and it's a little odd. It's definitely one of the ones that is floating around all the time on the internet that you can see uh, or hear, I guess. Uh, it's It definitely makes you think. It's very convincing if it's not real, but I think the general consensus is that something strange happened that day because the entire radio station went down. That can't be a coincidence. Rest in peace, Art. 
neither confirm nor deny. But apparently during the Soviet days, they did an experiment to see if you were to keep someone sleep deprived, how long you could keep them sleep deprived and what they would do. Are you talking about the Russian sleep experiment? Yeah. It's so scary. So maybe seven people. They were put in a room. Anytime they would get sleepy, blasting lights, music. So like you literally could not sleep. Started going crazy. Right. And they're screaming and they're like going manic. And then there was one point where all of them were just silent. Oh my gosh. And so they looked. None of them are sleeping. They're all just sitting. And now they're a little concerned of their psychosis. Now they are, yeah. Now, because they were just they were just blank. Right. And they're like, okay, well, we're going to inject you so that you can sleep. And they barred the doors and they said, no, we don't want to sleep. They're hearing voices now. And there's like entities talking to them. What the And they're heck? like, if we sleep now, we'll lose them. But like a doctor came in and they ripped him to shreds, killed him. They said so that if, if I go to sleep, I'll die. They were dying, weren't they? Apparently one died when he fell asleep. His last words were like, I was so close to freedom. Yeah. What was freedom? I don't know. I wonder what freedom was. I also, I know nothing about the validity of this. It, maybe it's a commonly known thing, but I definitely do not know. But I heard it and I was pretty horrified. But if you've ever stayed awake for a very, very long time, I'm talking like, over two days, you definitely start to get weird. So I can't, I don't, I didn't, I don't recall what they said, how long they were in that room, but I think the silence would scare me a lot when they all just got quiet. I don't think I'd want to be that guy going in that room. Hey guys, I just wanted to take a second to thank every single person tuning in and to ask you if you're enjoying this content, if you could like, subscribe so that we can keep building this amazing community of people. So thank you again. This story is neither confirmed nor denied, but apparently. Are your toys alive? What did I just walk into? What? Would you have a robot made? with that bitch in bowl honestly buddy what are you gonna do with it what are you gonna do with it i am a little curious to like was he still over there i hope that guy's okay man that's really really scary i've always wanted to move down south deep south but that's always one of my fears. I'm so drawn to like the bayou and the swamp land and things like that. I just feel like my soul needs it, but I don't want to get eaten, you know?
what do you guys think about these, these conspiracies of is it that they're of the same lineage or is it that we think it's them and they just don't age and they just kind of like Edward Cullen through time and just change their lives and now I'm an actor now I'm a painter or whatever what do you guys think what do you think Insane. I have been diving deep into the rabbit hole that the Wizard of Oz, yes, the story, the Wizard of Oz is actually an allegory exposing the banking cartel that runs our lives. I posted the video yesterday and got this, and you know when that happens, it means that it's good. But let me show you what I found. Hopefully it stays up, but I promise you, the more I give you, the more it's going to make sense. It's crazy. So let's start off with some easy ones. Why is it called the Wizard of Oz? O-Z. Ounces. What is measured in ounces? I just have to pause this for one second and say that I almost didn't click on this because The Wizard of Oz is so much of my childhood. I'm talking, I'm gonna reveal this to you. Whenever I would meet new people as a child, I would tell them that my name was Dorothy and that I originated from Kansas, you know, and I'm just here now. My family moved, right? I'm not a loser, I swear. But like, and then obviously in adulthood, I stopped that, but I do, own the biography of the cowardly lion i own various versions of the wizard of oz like i love it it, it holds a very special piece of my heart uh, from my childhood and i thought this was gonna say something about it is demonic and i just didn't know if my little ticker could handle that but luckily it's not that it's just about how our banking system is and our uh, economy is a little demonic we knew that. This is gold. What is the yellow brick road? Gold bars. The yellow brick road leads to the Emerald City. Why Emerald? Well, on the back of all American money, you have these buildings that are in green. Emerald City represents the Federal Reserve, the Treasury. Now let's go deeper. Let's talk about the scarecrow, the straw man. He didn't have a brain, right? What does this symbolize? When a person is born, yes, they exist as a human being, but a new legal entity is also formed. Documentation in the form of birth certificates, social security numbers, these are the legal entities that represent you. Those legal entities have no brain. They are not conscious, but the system views you as a legal fiction. What does the scarecrow ask the wizard for? A brain. What is he given? A certificate. He's proud of his new brain, but it is not real intelligence. All right, the Tin Man. Like I said, at birth, you're given a social security number, but you also have a taxpayer identification number, T-I-N. But the Tin Man represents these heartless, robotic, mindless workers within the capitalistic system. The lack of the heart is the lack of passion, fulfillment within this work. Some say this represents people as mindless workers within the system. In the story, he literally rusts from overwork. The lack of heart and soul represents the- That's when he rust from- lack of work you can just kind of stand there i don't know i've seen this like a thousand times if not more literally and i don't remember him being overworked into his rusty situation emotional drain that mindless labor has on us or how we become robotic in our daily tasks i probably should have started with this at the beginning dorothy's journey emphasizes that individuals possess the power to reclaim their freedom let's talk about the field of poppies what comes from poppy Milk with a poppy, opium. This is an example of the distractions that are everywhere in society. Consumerism, mindless entertainment, drugs, alcohol. Things we use to numb us from our reality. The Scarecrow and Tin Man weren't impacted by it because they lack genuine human qualities. They don't have consciousness. The symbolism is we can be sedated by distractions. Okay, the Cowardly Lion. These are the people that on the outward appearance have the abilities to change things. They have the strength, the demeanor, but on the inside, they're cowards. He wants courage from the wizard. What does he get? He gets a medal. This represents the false sense of authority that are given to lions like this to keep them as cogs in the machine. These cowardly lions tend to oppress and hurt those beneath them. They want to make change for everyone, liberate everyone. But when they come upon bigger bullies, they're cowards. They fall prey to the system. Can you think of any cowardly lions in our system? Okay, going back to the Emerald City, it can represent the Federal Reserve, and it's built on this illusion of control, right? The gang goes to meet the wizard. They see a bunch of smoke and mirrors, fire, holographic images. All of it was designed to instill fear, to frighten you, to manipulate you into doing what the wizard wants. It represents the illusion of power. So what happens? Toto, the little dog, pulls back the curtain. What do we see the wizard is? 
a frail human being. This aura of power was just an illusion. Think of it this way, there's 8 billion people on the earth. What percentage are controlling the illusion of power? It's not a lot. So where does the power actually lie? Obviously the illusion is that it's the wizard. But get this, Toto represents the truth and power to expose these illusions. Toto in Latin actually means all. It symbolizes total awareness coming together as a people. And it is through all that you can expose the illusion as a fraud. I need to speed up. The Good Witch represents people that are giving you empowerment, education, lift you up on your journey. The Wicked Witch represents people that are a part of the system, who climb their way up, push people down to do it. They buy into and use the corruption to get ahead. Essentially, they join the system and then oppress the people below them. Who does all the business for the Wicked Witch? The Flying Monkeys. These are the enforcers, the attorneys of the world. People who use their intelligence, their power, to oppress others and keep proliferating this broken system. Imagine if the world's smartest attorneys were fighting against the system that is broken and inherently unfair instead of fighting for and being paid by those that benefit from the system. So what do we learn from Dorothy's journey? Like I said, we all have the power to reclaim our freedom. To expose the wizard, you need a brain that represents knowledge. You need a heart that represents compassion. You need courage to stand up against the system and not join it. And finally, Toto, you need collaboration. We all need to work together. The system incentivizes the me. We need to focus on the we. And how does she go home? She clicks her heels three times. She could have done this at any point. She always had the power to go home. If you are paying attention, it is very obvious right now that these broken systems, their foundations are cracking. Things are coming apart. So have a brain, have a heart, have compassion, have optimism for the future because we can and will build something better. It is coming. Earth's vibration is rising. But anyways, that rabbit hole was insane. Let me know what you think because it's pretty convincing. It is pretty convincing. A lot of it made perfect sense. It really did. Um, what do you guys think about that one? I'm very curious to hear what other people think about this. It's, I was interested. On internet dating sites, my prayers are with you. Because I believe that this happens, maybe not this, because it's actually kind of funny. But I, just, I saw, oh, another clip that I didn't, it was just kind of random. When I was looking for clips to show you guys, and it was um, like a conversation of, or maybe it was on Reddit or something, I don't know. But it was a conversation of um, two people on one of these dating sites. And the girl, I guess, said to the guy, Hey, like, really nice to meet you. Um, I'd love to get to know you. What kind of work do you do? And he immediately said, LOL, this is why I don't go on sites like this. Y'all trying to get my private, the most personal information from me when we don't even know each other. Let's get to know each other first. I'm sorry, but where you work and what you do is kind of how you spend most of your time, or at least uh, quite a bit of it. I don't know. People are just crazy out there. Just be safe. Be safe. Be kind. Make sure you take the time to smile every now and then. I just want to say goodnight to my awesome grandma. I love you. And I hope to see you guys again tomorrow. Have a great night.